the tale of Georgie Grubb. This is the tale of Georgie Grubb, who would not give himself a scrub. No matter how his mother tried, when she said soap, he'd run and hide. When she said bath, he'd cry and shout, and throw his arms and legs about. He'd whine and wail, and scream and shriek, and wriggle and squiggle and squirm and squeak. But then, one day it got so bad, he drove his poor old mother mad. She threw the towel in and gave up, and let him be a mucky pup. On Monday, Georgie left the place, with strawberry jam around his face, and boiled egg upon his shirt, and all his nails full of dirt. On Tuesday, still in Monday socks, he started smelling like a fox. On Wednesday, any friends he had would not sit near the little lad. He smelt so bad the teacher chose to wear a peg upon her nose. In fact, so dirty had he got, his vest and socks began to rot. By Thursday, there was still no hope of getting Georgie near the soap. With dirty ears and nose and eyes, he started to attract the flies. He got sent home from school as well, for nobody could stand the smell. When he walked in, the flowers died. His mother made him go outside. You're not coming down this path, she said, until you've had a bath. I don't care, said Georgie Grubb. You won't get me inside that tub. With pockets full as rubbish bins, as slimy as banana skins. He disappeared that very day to find another place to stay. Friday came and Friday went with all his pocket money spent. Nowhere to go, nothing to eat. Oh, poor Georgie's aching feet. And as no one would let him in, he crawled inside a rubbish bin. In with rotten cabbage stumps and slimy stew and porridge lumps. Gristle bones, half-eaten chips, apple cores and custard drips. Little Georgie went to sleep, quite buried in the rubbish heap. There's really not much more to say. The bin men came on Saturday 